Crystal Strikes you, usually you're not too afraid of it. But when you have a Shaman right-clicking you for 74 damage on top of it, suddenly that is a pretty major threat. That's true. It does start to stack up a lot over time. And we'll be uh, oh, yeah, probably forcing out a lot of region that we see. Landing phase, well. Already seeing a decent chunk of just damage getting tossed back and forth between the two mids here. A surprising amount of damage when they group up like that. I, I, I don't really know how this matchup goes. From what I've seen, Void Spirit pretty much free farms against everybody, but the physical damage shield's really not enough against Nature's Prophet. He's one of the few heroes that can probably right-click enough to remove it. Uh, so I expect the early early levels will be a bit rough for Indiki, but he'll probably just have to carry out a bit of extra region. Well, they definitely have the kind of heroes that can just rotate, uh, especially if you get a rune of opportunity, or, you know, once those five-minute runes come up and you do have the ults online. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about the five-minute catapults uh, for the side of spider pigs. It's similar to earlier, we saw multiple sources of pressure, and in this game, I think if Nature's Prophet gets ganked, like you said, and then Death Prophet's able to apply pressure top, could be a little bit too uh, overwhelming for them. So it's going to be about who gets six in the mid lane first. Well, it looks like the first blood is going to be top, though. Blink gets the kill over on LeBron. Big tanky boy, but of course the spirit siphon. Does really nicely against those melee heroes. Surprising that they. I, I don't see too many teams pick this five position brew, but the Death Prophet is super nice against brew, are dying, like you said, all these strange melee fives. Desire starting the, uh, the assault now killed. on the Couriers. <laughs> so that is going to be that Impossible. regen, but at the same time, Flash My does fall in the bottom lane. <laughs> which is a nice start off here for the Sand King. Yeah, he's, he's ahead in levels. That's the dream. Once Sand King gets level 3 or 4, this hero is one of the most powerful laners out there, but his level 1 skills are pretty lame. Uh, Sandstorm more than doubles the damage from level 1 to 2, a big part of it. And then when he gets level 4, he has one point all the spells. So the fact that they've gotten part, past the, the hard part, looking good for the bottom lane for Spike. Do you know what the actual, like, stats are? I feel like we've seen a few Sand Kings, and they've kind of fallen flat most of the time that we've seen at least in this region yeah they're always behind like <laughs> like the carries level four when they're level three and that's why i'm always i'm mainly concerned about those super early levels mm -hmm. so far that doesn't seem to be the case here but i'm gonna hold my breath a bit oh you're not gonna put out the ballsy prediction here at all yeah no ballsy prediction on this one <laughs> i thought he was gonna pull it off i gave i gave like a, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that bad of a lane prediction that, that, that's that, such that, a politician's we'll answer come on dude yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, they're creeping up, though, over here on Mitch, plus that ink swell. So Khan's going to get a decent chunk of damage down over here on the Sand King. That's about all he's going to be able to do, though. Go right back. Hit. Doesn't even have one. Oh, he has is that trick. Small adjustment. No, he doesn't have a salve or anything on Mitch, so he might be in some trouble. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, well, they have the dust, too, as Khan trying to find the opening here, trying to just get these hits off over onto Mitch. Not going to find them, though. And, uh, and then he doesn't have a salve, so he's stuck, I think. No, no, he backs off. Gonna return to lane. He's living life on the edge. Not sure that's the best choice here because you don't want to give Khan a great start. Like, you have such good potential. First, like, it was looking kind of nice, but... That's why, that's why I didn't make my bold prediction. <laughs> I, I, I've Radiant actually learned myself playing like Sand King. You have to fly yourself a salve around this point in time because mm -hmm. for your triangle boots, you often run into this exact thing. It's amazing how I see other players and they suffer the same problems I, I've suffered myself. Uh, as you see, uh, early TP behind. Yeah, Dude, uh, Noob gets a kill on Flash, but on the top lane, they were trying to make some moves onto Thagito. He was a little aggressive there. One of those blinks. Against Blink. Oh, oh man. Joining the creeps. Blinks on Blink. He was stealing, so he, he's like lane tax, killed one of the Radiant Creeps real quick, and then left. Classic. Oh, this is not looking good for LeBron, though. He is going to fall yet again. You know, going to have to try to run away here. They still have the Spirit Siphon attached to him. Blink, considering going for this, as they do have Earn Charges placed on Ricky as well, but not going to dive that tower. been fairly stagnant other than noob making that one rotation 
And he is gonna get that level six though, so most teams have gotten used to this since Nature's Prophet's been popular for a pretty long time, but gotta be ready for that Wrath of Nature. It's kind of like a Zeus ultimate. You gotta play with, like you have 300 less HP. Bursted. Man, I'll be excited if we get a patch before the uh, major rolls around to see who's getting the old nerf hammer. Long as they change Earthshaker Ag Shard, I'm good. That would be nice, but again, the sand he keeps answering, but they keep putting up a ward. He's managed to burrow strike away. Top lane, though, Blink. He's a little bit of assistance. He'll turn back around. It's a nice impale with the stun Fagito. Forced to Blink away now. And there is a rotation over to the mid lane. Trying to slide down the Thaki, but he'll be fine here. They're looking for a rune. He's not going to get lucky, though. It is bottom, and it's a double damage. That's a pretty big rune. Double and damage. Void Spirit got that. He probably represent solo kill threat on Noob here. So instead, still have the catapult alive for a bit if he wants to try to make use of it. So far, it looks like he's going to gank it. Again, here in the bottom lane. Well, noob is going to make his way bottom. Mitch does go down. Khan going to need a little bit of assistance here. He's only speaking at level 5. Does have some stick charges and a fairy fire, so he's going to survive this. As is Flash. CNZ was looking, though, on the top lane. Desires crawling away here. We'll turn back around. He doesn't quite manage to land the impales. We get two of the spirit side. Is it slowing them down a little bit here? But Desire, he's got those dancing shoes on in the bottom lane. There's a whole other fight breaking out. So Desire does go down. The TP comes out from Nature Prophet. He's going to survive this. DNZ, though, not looking so lucky. Wow, man, it just went zero to 60 and both of those sidelines all of a sudden. Attack. Yeah, a lot of level based threat with the ink swell coming out from Grimstroke. Even just the second point in that significantly increases his kill potential. The Nature's Prophet's all over the place. Void Spirit's all of a sudden super mobile with his level six. So, yeah, it's not too much of a surprise, but uh, I think this is kind of, I don't know really who this favors, to be honest. I think they all just don't mind this being the state of the game. I mean, it's very skirmishy. You've got less than 1k net worth lead going either side most of the time. Finally do crack the 1k mark, though. Death Prophet just nuked four creeps at, in unison. Ooh. That was smooth. That always feels really good. Position, though, up here. Blank has to be careful, but they have a smoke coming out from the side of No Bounty Hunter. They snuff. Jump over here onto Blink. The rest of the team, though, is nearby. Look at the setup over here onto Death Prophet. The impale comes through, lands on two. Blink is not looking like he's going to survive it, but he's going to be able to help get one kill. The Dawn going over to the side. They'll be able to take down New. As now Flash joining forward here. Inkswell comes up. They'll find themselves a DNZ. Take a bit of time to take him down, but that is a double kill. As now Ricky is going to have to flee the lane here. He's still hanging out. Mitch does have a little bit of haste rune. They attack. see Thucky. That's not aware that this is coming for him. You need to probably have a little bit of assistance. Does have a fairy fire, though. Oh, the and they make the wrong they play. They up. thought it was going up. Sweet. Nicely done here. Urn Charge is going to heal up the Void Spirit again. And they potentially try to go right back in. They see Thucky. In fact, he is just out on position. Gonna try to run away. Thucky jumping up. They still have the vision here. LeBron trying to do everything he can to buy him a little bit more time. They have so much dust. But Thucky, he's still running. He still had that urn charge on him. Thucky just doesn't have the damage. And Noob joining in as will allow Thuggito to get the blink strike off and get away to safety. Yeah, this this is all the power of Life Stealer and why I was concerned about bottom lane. The minute Stan King went down once or twice, suddenly Life Stealer has absolutely no threat. And since Stan King's so far behind, he doesn't really have they can't even gank for him. So what happens is they completely abandon this lane, which means Grimstroke completely abandons the lane as well. And you just run at the other two cores. So suddenly Ricky's got a bunch of people in his face while Life Stealers just live in, in Farm City down there. So uh this is this is a bit of what I was concerned about. I was hoping it wouldn't happen, especially since they got past the early levels really well. But I'm not, uh, this is just those couple of deaths on Sankey. They are going to swap up the lanes where th the Ricky goes bottom, but even then, I think he'll just get clicked every time he walks in the lane. They already have the Sankey. I don't know. It's a little bit rough from here. Let's we'll see what they do to get it over. Yeah, this looks like they turned this back around on DNZ very, very easily as he started off we trying to hold him in place, but that shaft is not going to be able to. He'll turn back around. They have things all over on some Dantuck. He's going to try to get the jump over here onto New. A little bit more damage to deal. He's still alive, though. All right, he turns back around. They'll find it. But uh, Flash going down on the back end here. Blink with Spirit Side, but they still have the vision on Mitch. Should be able to get a kill on the Sanky. Takito, he's still here. He's still alive. They just have all the dust in the world, it feels like. Taki not going to be able to go and land that Aether Remnant. 
can see him just, uh, you know, taunting his way out here, doing a little dance, thinking, hey, not gonna grab me. So jump forward here. Oh, does manage to go and nick the bounty room. Okay, not bad for spider pigs there. Are down 11 to 5. I'm a bit concerned for the Ricky. He's already a thousand gold behind the life stealer. Mm -hmm. But if they actually get like one kill on this life stealer with the orchid of noob, it looks like it's coming out around maybe 12, 13 minutes. That could be a, a tide, tide turner for sure. All right, DMZ finding himself Dyer's a friend here. The dawn right in, and that's a kill for desire. Exorcism gets used as well, so some pressure being placed with the Cardi wave. Don't put out the fortification though. Dyer's Kyle super excited as Blink has purchased a Falcon Blade. <laughs> It's interesting to see which heroes actually pick it up and then the value of it because i've seen the medusa with two falcon blades before yeah that was earlier on i think oh dear, yeah. oh dear. down he goes <laughs> and he's cute off the blink you don't really want to go blink first item here you probably want to go the yules because you're against the grimstroke phantom in the in the death prophet silence but since he had a little bit of a rougher laning stage he's forced to go for the blink first the yules is like a farming right. defend towers item but that that part of the game's kind of already over he's already a bit behind Radiant's on that tower is under attack. a lot of these off laners have like a somewhat midas type item where they can be impactful with it and it allows them to farm more areas of the map so thus accelerating their game and most of the time it requires you to have that good laning presence Sanking, he flash farms he's like batrider where he can clear a ton of creeps but he instead of being firefly and running away from the creeps he has to stay on top of the creep wave which makes him much more vulnerable at this stage desire scouting out uh oh still not feeling super great here's by carapace coming out they do get the split off the hop in immediately try to keep him alive just a little bit longer but they're stuck over here and all of these words desire ticking down he is gonna go out looks like no the next to fall con does not have infest flash that's over on the side looks like they're gonna go for the easier target here and down he goes con trying to juke around here into the corner they do throw the cinder brew on him though he needs a little bit of help but it doesn't look like he's gonna be able to find the ducky they jump back in lebron he's already got the split he's down your Turn this around, the double damage go. over here on the Thucky oh, does have another one of those steps, if necessary. Blink joining in the fight, though. Wrath of Nature doing a surprising amount, and it's a beautiful Burrow Strike. Mitch, though, again, he doesn't really want to fight here. He doesn't have a whole lot of mana. The Prophet silenced up, sitting in the smoke screen. Khan running forward, nice to run the drawing Mitch back, but he gets the Burrow Strike off. Can they get the kill on Death Prophet? Yes, they can. The rest of the side, no bounty hunter regrouping off to the side. Full bottle, though, here for the Void Spirit, so he's going to beat the regen up and potentially get back in. This game's a brawl. Radiant's the fact that they've managed to drag Lifestealer into this is really good uh, for the side of Spider Pigs. For the reason why I was concerned about these is Lifestealer is always farming. But now the game, he's getting towards his wing there, or his battle here. A little bit off the mark here from the Thunkies. Could be very, very disastrous for him. Does have the Yules, though. Gonna buy himself a little bit more time as Flash finds a kill over on the mid. Hex will come out on the back lines. LeBron will fall. Silence, though, coming out on the Thunkies. This is really bad for him. He's gonna go down. The Void Spirit is no longer part of this fight. As Khan's looking for this opening, will be able to land the Inks well. Desire already going down as it's just blinking fun. Chasing after DNC, but he has the Hex. They've got the smoke screen. They go right back in. They go to the Death Zone. Is he gonna be able to be alive? Yes, he toggles. He turns right back around. They get the kill on DNC. And Thug. Oh, Thug, I'm not sure you're gonna be able to make it out alive here. Double kill now for Blake. I just retract my previous statement and say that this is uh, certainly not what I'm hoping for if I'm a Spider Pigs fan. As Blink, he's just gonna be the nursing home for our life stealer as he gets all of his health back. I believe it's like 6% per second. Pretty good. As Blink also enjoys that extra bit of HP. Khan comes out at full, should be a tower for them. Nope, they choose to back off. They, they don't want to commit and potentially lose lose heroes towards the end of that extra content with what they got. I do like the way they're smoking up, though. They realize, okay, exorcism is down. We've got split up. We've got wards up. Maybe we can make something happen on the side as part. This is a really good move by Khan because he predicted that since they were threatening Radiant's the tower with the tail end of exorcism that the attack. majority of spider pigs would run back bottom Radiant's and immediately tp's top fortified. and says if you guys want to try to take bottom tower we're going to look for the trade because our cold our cooldowns are are not up right now so Dyer's we're very happy with trading with you guys. Under attack. Radiant Radiant's making the jump over on splashes have the ink swell on him but he is hexed up as 
Doom jumps in and gets himself a nice thing. Suddenly they're losing bottom tower and then they're looking to threaten mid tower on the side of spider pigs. So a lot of retractions of my own statements here. I don't think that's I feel like you're going to have that a lot. Things that Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I don't know if Kyle's bled off on me in the last few I'll years. I'll your treatment. <laughs> Deaths you gotta make some very vague statements, and then you have to be able to, you know, create a whole tangent. That's how Kyle works. Yeah. Uh, okay, the tangents were. More I tangents. To... Okay, more tangents. Got it. But the pressure is indeed on this mid tower. You can see that they're trying to defend it. They've got enough people here. Of course, Nature's Prophet is able to just zip away and uh, quickly come back. It's starting to look a little bit like a pub with the amount of people hanging out in this mid line. <laughs> Only until they start running Dying underneath the tower. That's true. This is nice, though. They do manage to take out Mitch, so they don't have to worry about the epicenters. They don't have to worry about those barrel strikes. Radiant's bottom well, uh, tower is under attack. Get rid of him there, as he's just close enough underneath the set the tower. That's what he was doing there. If he has the blink dagger, that that's that's why you don't want to go first out and blink. Dagger. Right? Yeah. Because you want to sit on creep waves defending them like he was doing, but then you have a blink. And that's a reactionary item rather than once they jump you, you're dead. So if you're going to show on lanes, that's not that's not the item you want, but like I said, he kind of needed it for that earlier fight. At this point, Dyer's I'm just concerned about his item high. progression as the game goes on. All right. Well, we do get the uh, jump on the Death Prophet here as new figures at DNZ oh, should be able to spot it. So. Yeah, it's a cool guy's look like explosions. That was attack. actually a slick TP. He predicted some sort of reaction coming out from No Bounty Hunter, and they had a life stealer infested in a Nyx assassin, and he, he might have gotten caught if he didn't attack. instantly TP. Down in the bottom lane, Split will come out as they'll turn their attention now over here on Flash, and they'll chase him down to kill for Thug. They're gonna start pinthering and circling around here onto Nseki. He doesn't really have a place to hide very well. Only got one of those steps available, but assimilate, walk away. Radiant's bottom tower is under probably attack. respond to this, yeah? Yeah, I, th I think they will. They have to the wait for their heroes to be respawning, so it's like they know that there's the potential of all no bounty hunter to be there. Which is exactly what you see spider pigs is aware of. They're running away. Will they get spike here based on the keys? Right? No, he is is under attack. Flush them out of the jungle and they realize that they do have a sentry off to the side, so they'll be able to deward that. Yeah, a lot of sentries gonna be placed in this game. We got Nyx Assassin versus Ricky Sandy. A lot of sentry. It almost feels a little bad that you don't have a, a natural necrobook builder on the side of No Bounty Hunter considering what they have going on with, you know, um, and then flip side that Nyx is that. Yeah, that's absolutely true. around the rose. He does get silent stuff as Khan joining in, and he's not even going to get a chance to hit him because Blink's already murdered him. That's a gang tank from a boy, Ricky. However, you got to make it last a little bit longer because that that ancient stack just got stacked at 18 minutes, and he no, no. is actually just getting yoinked. Khan, that's the economic damage of that kill. Yes, the Brewmaster is worth 207 gold, but that ancient stack is like 350 gold being taken from the rookie and given to the life source. So that's that's more than about 700 gold. That's, that's efficiency, right baby. There. I mean, oh, yeah. we're Dota players, so it's all about efficiency and the fact that, you know, you put pressure over into the triangle, Ricky can't get over there. It's just not safe. There's nowhere else to go. After, after you invade the triangle, where else is he get to go? And they just back off immediately after taking that round of camps, and they're gonna look to use the deck prop and exorcism. It is only level one. He's not quite level 12 yet. Good death, though, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. Good timing. Mm -hmm. They don't really have sustain, though. No more open wounds for Lifestealer. It is a big part of his roach taking potential in the past. He does have the armlet, too. Play around a little bit. Blink's gotta be careful though. He is sitting pretty low here. All right, there you go. He's being a bro. Pops in. And yeah, this is just an easy first throw shot around. And look at how scared the rest of Spider Pigs were. They had no idea what was going on. Like, the Gito was just sitting in trees bottom. Gru was looking to Radiant's tank another gang run next to his ward. They had absolutely Radiant's no clue what was happening. Has been killed. DNC sees him. I don't think they get the time, no way. Desire. 
hunting around in the tree line Dyer's here. Middle tower is under attack. Run into bug-on-bug uh, bug action here. Oh, we didn't see Mecca jumping. Fog was... No. Radiant's bottom tower but is under attack. This positioning. Hang out something here. Desire. Oh, he runs right into DNZ. The Hex comes out. He goes and he drops the Serpent Wards. Blink just using that Spirit Slide. It looks like Desire oh. going to go down here, but they'll trade and they even get the wards as well. Uh, Meanwhile, bottom, if they can get another kill, maybe. They're looking. Nice pull by to start off. Plus the silence. LeBron, he's trying to get away. The Inkspell, double Inkspell. Coming out. And they'll take their time to get this kill on Shigito, but they'll find it. Under attack. Just oh, and they might be able to find themselves new, too. Pleasant they have to get there. They're running. Daki's got the double damage. He's got the Inkspell. Doesn't quite manage to land. The BKB coming out from Noob, though, as he is forced to run away. I just don't have anything to cancel out that BKB TP, so the walk out. But I believe that's his 10 second BKB used very defensively. Yeah, it's definitely not what you're going for. They're just not respecting, like they see three top <laughs> and so they feel safe bottom. But the fact is Void Spear plus Grimstroke, that's a large portion of the race of damage. So if those two heroes are missing, it doesn't matter how many other ones you see. You just get linked and then ink swell and you're gonna die. Feels like the map is getting smaller and smaller for the side of spider pigs here. Sand King is going to get that Yules eventually, but is it too little too late? Because my concern is now, when you have these elusive items like the Yule Scepter, you're probably just going to get bursted if you ever get Spike Carapace. And it's pretty reliable if you're sitting in Sandstorm to walk into it. So it's the issue is I look at these heroes games and i think do they ever get easier to play mm. for spider pigs and i think it's going to be requiring a bit of an overextension from no bounty hunter with a life stealer most of their damage coming out from the cores on spider pigs Radiant's is physical is under so that's going to be a pretty big timing oh the ricky a taunted right back in it's a beautiful pick off here and now they're making moves over onto the shaman so and that hex will Radiant's just make it so that way he doesn't get the kill but still goes down anyways that's gonna tower while this is going on. Mitch, though, also being chased away. Look at that. Just with a couple spells, he's already down to half health. Haste. Yeah, it's there's just so many kill Radiant's duos on No Bounty Hunter. As opposed to on Spider Pigs, they need like three or four heroes to bring down any of the kills. LeBron. Lucky just having that haste rune. Goes right back in the setup here from Desire. And click. Down goes LeBron. Void Spirit's not an okay hero. I, I don't know what <laughs> happened between last patch and this one. I, I was like thinking about this the other day. I read the patch notes. He actually got a slight nerf to one of his talents. That was the only Dyer's change. Suddenly he's like first pick, first ban for all these teams. And all misses the burrow. Bro, going in there with the impale. Mitch, he's trapped here. He's underneath his own tower and he can't even find safety from it. Because you have all these ghostly little birds flying out from the Death Prophet. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. That is a cool cosmetic. There's so many different animals. You got fishies, birds. Yeah, I like the sharks. The sharks are pretty. Yeah, the sharks are cool. The default girls are kind of meh, but. Yeah, they're just like so th 2012, you know? <laughs> At least they're not being described as the 2020 of uh, cosmetics. I think Owen okay. said like Ooh. something similar to that, Lazzy. Like he's called the black hole, the 2020 of black holes. That's. Oh, love the wit on that boy. Jump forward though, again, LeBron, you're taking this gang. That's a painful one. Why did you make an enemy of you? You have the gratitude. He's got free reign and now he's got booth to travel so he can be wherever he wants on Void Spirit. What do you think needs to, to happen with Void Spirit? Because I mean, Nyx Assassin, obviously Nyx Assassin is on the Void Spirit team and that's really been the hero that Radiant has made a lot of those mid pickups for the spirits. Like you, you second guess them a little bit. Like what does he need to, to get balanced out then? Uh, I, th I think it's the Ag Scepter. Uh, I'm not sure though. It, I think his base damage is a bit too high. Get rid of like three or four base damage and his laning would be a bit more balanced. The problem is he, he does fine in every matchup. So he, he gets his timings every game, attack. even if his lane doesn't go Radiant's great. You can first round him. Under attack. Yeah, having a core, you can first round him. He's, he's hiding. Yeah, they landed the dust on Thugs, too. Desire walks into him, actually. 
them. They're coming out. Went to the draw forward here from the Ducky. Does have that double damage. Silence being applied to Ricky as well. But Noob also here. And the Silence comes out. He's not going to be able to teleport out. They're going to shackle up over on the back side. Fuel's coming out. Ducky, is he going to survive for long enough? Can he do for rounds? Can he make these plays? He's not going to be able to. He does get taken out by Fikido. But while this is happening, a little, uh, you know, we talk about tricks of the trade. A little bit of sleight of hand. Top lane. It's going down here as there is a war trap, but Thug joining in. They'll get the threes out as well. Mitch getting the epicenter off on the back lines. They do have the BKB and Blink. He's very, very tanky when he's got a life steal of passengers, so he's going to be able to dip. Flash not going to be as lucky, but you get some nice damage on that tier three. I don't think that tier three really matters that much. You have a Nature's Prophet to be able to push it out globally. Yes, it's nice, but I would never take that trade if I was no bounty hunter. That's exactly what spider pigs needs they overcommitted trying to find the ricky in the trees and stuck around for too long ages expired void spirit who seems invincible unless there's three or four heroes there it suddenly allows that to happen and here we are but i think void spirit just his timing of the axe is too powerful and you get it every single time. so that's the issue with the hero something about that needs to be either make it less reliable or make it less powerful. the invasion is on Immediately the BKB coming out, the follow up over here on the side, but they do have mules over on the other side, though they managed to take down LeBron yet again. He used the BKB, but he's not able to get anything with it. So he is forced to just teleport out. And Mitch Farming is just BKBs. praying they don't look in the woods. I've seen Nature's Prophet, they pretty much use these BKBs to make aggressive farming plays or aggressive gank plays and just use it as a no shit button. That seems like pretty much the use of BKB on Nature's Prophet, so it's not as bad as it is on other heroes, but still doesn't feel good. Bottom? For the big play here, Hex. Follow up with the silence. This is looking pretty good, although he does have the Yules. Is he going to be able to go take a step out? He's still silent. He's stuck in the tree, so yes, yeah, he's going to go down. Flash now, he's trying to save him. He's not going to be able to. Goes, throws out the whip, and he says, please, hitch a ride. I cannot withstand this. Not with these giant trees running out my face. Trees are menacing are ridiculous and you get practically no gold for them no it's like 25 compared to the eight that you normally get that's still that's not enough time. that's like half a creep come on oh ah, yeah because those <laughs> glass half full oh my god it's not often that i get told that i need to be glass half full that's yeah, all i'm gonna say, say there's, there's, right. there's some irony there for sure <laughs> all right. he does have the eggs the next item that's gonna make or break. What's he gonna go for? BKB. He's going pure damage. Okay. That was, that was I don't think he was aware. They go and they use the words again. The follow up. And that's a dead desire. That's a little less spooky for these ports, right? Mitch is really getting griefed by his shadow shaman here. <laughs> this is the second time I've now seen him burrow strike a target, and he ward traps the target, which also ward traps. This time around, he's got blink. At least it's not another Kuro and GH ward trapping. <laughs> right. True. He does have ways out. Just earlier on in the game, he had to expend his burrow strike and to get out of it rather than yeah. just stun targets, which kind of sucks. All right. Well, it feels like the pace of the game slowing down just a little bit, which I think Spider Pigs is more than happy to uh, accept. Approach you. Yeah, they got the AC coming out. Big timing for them. Match the AC of the Life Stealer, who's hit pretty hard at this stage. But if they can get a couple defensive items up, that just won't be the case anymore. Rue, LeBron, Gank Tank Extraordinaire, coming in hot. He's rolling in. I think he's just like, oh, you again? All right, I guess we'll take you. So, there it is. There's but that guy. guy wandering through the woods. Not a him again. <laughs> Dude, when do we hold an intervention about him? <laughs> Seriously, he's even rolling on a barrel mm -hmm. right before his death. He's, he's really being careless and reckless. I don't know. Somebody needs to give him a pamphlet or just sit him down and be like, life's worth living, friend. There's no need to be doing this. That's the glass half full. Radiant Foxy, we know <laughs> All right. They're going to get the outpost tower. bottom. Not all that bad. Suddenly, they have a slight net worth lead on spider pigs. <laughs> Ricky's farm, it's gonna accelerate. Owen said he thought he'd get to this critical mass. He's almost got the Daedalus. About a thousand gold off. He will be chunking people. No armor items on uh, deep. 
Void Spirit. I guess Death Prophet just got this play back. Still. I mean, this is gonna be uh, another. They put a little bit of pressure on the tower, they can use the board. Desire to be free from through. The step forward, though, with the infect bomb, they can just go and blow up DNZ instantly. Look at the beekeeping coming up from newbies, just trying to run away. He's gonna be able to get out. But over on the back lines, they go and they find the Hito. He's down as now LeBron running that Earth Panda out. He knows what's gonna happen if they catch him. It's happened multiple times. He's seen his future. Tosses out the stone. He's like, not you again, but eventually, you know, Khan, he's gonna come back together. They turn back around, and Khan this time will get the kill on LeBron. Yeah, they're just giving away these Roshas for free. I think they're capable of contesting if they're ready. They have a lot of damage to threaten the pit. Burrow strike into the Ricky tricks of the trade is enough, in my opinion. So I I think they're just getting caught a little off guard. Maybe didn't take the Roche timer down, weren't keeping close eye on exactly when that could be respawning with a curry or anything like that. And they went for a trade this time, but it was so late that by the time they were getting the trade, the bounty hunter was already able to leave a bit and come respond with that ages infested voice spirit. Dyer's top barracks. Very spooky, attack. but uh, that desolator online. Dyer's Look, here as you've got fortified. plenty of damage getting dished out over here in the top. Although Noob is trying his best, right? He's going bottom. He's got the Cardi Wave. He's going to try to put some pressure down because he knows that he's going to need Dyer's the rest of his team if he wants to try to fight here. And in fact, they just go, they take the other half of the racks. Flash is home, just pushing out the wave. Look how tanky these trees are. A beefy like boy. Oh, no, we're on the back lines here. Blink, he's got to use the BKB. He's got to get out as fast as he can. There was a decent attack. amount of damage going out. He managed to take the tower. On top of everything. Nile, though, at the very least. Radiant's top tower is under attack. All right, Ducky, let's see. Where are we going? Who are you murdering? No one. Murder My bet's on Brewmaster. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Not so again. Sweet. Double damage is found, though, here in the top rune spot. Yoink. That is a half. Yeah, they have the uh, basher done on Lifestealer, so these BKB TPs from Nature's Prophet aren't going to be nearly as effective anymore. As long as the Void Spirit's infested when he looks to respond to the split push. That won't, that won't work anymore. Is Khan just taking a bathroom break right now? He's been hanging out here in the Ducky for a while now. BKB completed for Ducky, too. Yeah, breath of fresh air. Maybe he's out for a walk. I don't know. Now he's back. All right, all right. He's back. He's ready to fight. Got the exorcism online. Got a lot of nice items. Got that uh, Aegis BKB on the way. It even, they even have a gem. I just realized that Ducky jumping forward here. Has his eyes on the Sand King. Gets the draw back again. They'll find the kill. Buyback coming out now from Sand King. Mitch wants to get back to this fight, but these buildings are just getting shredded while they're being distracted by the bodies. Desire. Okay, there's a nice barrel strike coming out from Mitch. He did buyback for this buyback now coming out from Nyx. There's just so much damage coming out, but they are kind of trapped within all of these trees. LeBron going down again. They're out of stroke of fate, just cleaning up all of these summons. With the exorcism down. Gonna back off the Guido. Looking to jump on the back lines, but them retreating as a group. I don't think he wants to do that any Radiant longer. Are scanning. I'm surprised the Brewmaster's rushing in eggs. How poor he is. If he had had like a Vlad's or drums or something, maybe some of these engagements could have kind of fit. Oh, this is uh, looking like a really nice play here for the Spider Pigs because a lot of the team had already left. They got the soul bind off. And they're chasing down. They'll be able to take down DNZ. There's going to be more buybacks. Multiple buybacks coming out. Noob trying to man fight over here against his life stealer. They're not looking super great. They go and they drop the wards though. And he's totally separate. He's hexed up. He's going to need some assistance. The Ducky jumping right in. That is a god kill streak taken down. They'll jump right back in. Again, Pagita is getting off plenty of damage plus the hex. Okay, that is going to be the Aegis. Got the BKB. He's going to try to take a couple of these steps forward. He's getting a little greedy here. So he jumps over onto DNZ and they managed to find the kill. Blink rejoining in as Spirit Siphon over the back line. So Flash taking a lot of damage. They're fighting underneath the wards, which is never a super great idea. Beautiful Burrow's Strike coming out. Desire does go down. And now Blink, he's got to teleport out and he's got to teleport out fast. We'll sign a life for spider pigs. A lot of buybacks, I don't know exactly though. what they're going to be able to do with Dyer's this, though. Bottom tower is under attack. As there's no Roche to take, all the lanes are on their side of the map, so no major objectives to, to claim. Void within. 
Loki, he's getting there, but the problem is with his items that at any point, if they find him with just a Void Spirit Ag Scepter Silence, that should be enough to bring him down, which pretty impossible to position against when Void Spirit's Dyer's already got the level 3 tower. ultimate, he's got the level Your 20 talent. Distortions. A little bit tough, but if he can get like a BKB or honestly even like a Rapier where he just kills people so fast they can't react, then... <laughs> Uh, I'm down. I'm down. We've seen some crazy game-winning rapiers. I feel like uh, that's the chat mode right there. Lives. Just do they so much here. damage, they can't touch you. They're already dead when they've been looking. Oh god, the step forward. They already had a sentry ward in place here. Oh no. Tucky also has a gem. This is one little Ricky who I don't think is going anywhere. Although they're going to try to get the nature's prominent. No, he cancels it out. Down goes Tagito. And uh, LeBron is on the back end here. The rest of the team, they were thinking about showing up with Ricky dead. You don't want to go. It's there. hard to remember that they might have a ward there because the reason they have that ward is Nature's Prophet. Uh, he didn't he didn't think ahead of time with that on the on the Ricky. I mean, I guess on the bright side they use the exorcism, but they still got to kill with it. So I still think that's pretty good. Yeah, he really Rod? needs that item progression here. There. Oh God, no! We've seen this movie. I know how this ends. All those rest of the team still standing nearby. Are they gonna be able to go and murder him fast enough? Those questions not looking good because again. Out. Landing on several of them, they'll be able to go take down Antaki. And now Blink with that BKB, he's got to just make himself away. Oh god, Mitch is stuck in the, the words again. Over on the side, Khan, though, and Fest coming free. Pops right back out again. Can they, go, can they finish it off? Yes, they take down New. Uh, and Burrow Strike coming forward again over to Flash, but this is not looking great here for the side of the Spider Pigs because they're still alive and kicking, and Khan is just chasing after them. They'll turn around. They see LeBron. LeBron's here. LeBron's going to go down again. He's going to die. Just chomp I was away watching the things. complete other half of that fight, and you're like, oh god, he's in the wards again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just flash over. I'm gonna remember this, guys. If, if you're playing Sanking Shadow Shaman dual offlane, you got you gotta you gotta buy a four staff on Sanking. I think that's pretty much the only way to go. Or phase boots, because this is like the fourth time it's happened already. <laughs> uh, something's funny about that. It definitely feels bad if you're Mitch every time now. Uh, he's actually completely neutered in the fight because he's taking damage, so he can't blink, and then he can't burrow strike specific targets. He has to use it just to move. So he's suddenly useless by his own team's doing, and he can't really blame the Shadow Shaman because he's going to try to ward trap people, but Sanking has to be on top of the person to stun them. It's going to be a little bit anti-synergy there. Oh, yeah, look at this. All right, the silence. I'm ready for the board trap. Tucky stop, Mitch. Stand <laughs> oh. <laughs> up as well. Oh no, they're doing it again. No. Oh, it's a Groundhog Day of failures. Oh. Such a nice epicenter too, and then he's just yeah. stuck afterwards. Do we have a uh, force staff getting queued up on our boy Mitch there? He's got spider legs. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. When you get stuck, you just need extra legs, PSJ. Easy. Yeah, there you go. Flicker would have done the job, too. If you Radiant want the flicker, you can standing. take that. You feel lucky, just blink right outside of those serpent wards. Oh, he's got the four step on D and Z. He understands. All right, all right. See, that's a support player right there. He understands. He's just got to survive and not be channeling shackles on stuff. Oh. So you can use them oh. when these things happen. Taki is just hunting. Hoping that he's gonna find anyone here. He's gonna go to top. He's got Desire on the hunt. They'll find themselves noob. Bye bye, noob. They're not allowed to farm maps. Are under attack. Yeah, he's going Satanic, and this Nature's Prophet carry build used to be way better back when Satanic and Stash was just. I saw it in another game yesterday. You just get bursted before you get any of your items or spells off. That's the difference here, as if he has no buyback. They're looking to just end this game right now. Jump forward again over to LeBron. There's no split available for you over on the back, though. DNZ, he drops the circuit board. But Saki jumping forward should be able to go clean up over onto DNZ. Blink is struggling a little bit because they did buy back with the Brewmaster. But he's so tanky. And he's able to just life kill so much again as Desire popping the side carapace buys a little bit more time. Jump forward here over onto the Sand King. It's gonna take a little while, but eventually Mitch goes down. And oh no, they found the Guido. There's just no place safe for this Ricky. They have vision on him. They're just gonna chase him down. Burn his mana. We'll hang out for a little bit and, you know, pull off the inevitable. But eventually, Thug goes down. 
On all this one, you just have a position five brewmaster. No split available. You've already used your wards. Not looking. Radiance yeah, yeah. We, we have to stop attack. putting the highest amount of depth as green, guys. You don't win if you have the most depth. Another buyback coming out from Thug. This is the do or die point. Taki, though, he is just so aggressive. The follow here from Khan. They just slice him apart. And they'll jump onto the back lines and help themselves to a Ricky, too, if they can grab him. But I'm thinking they're going to be able to do it. And they just use the GG out. Ancient Falls, and just like that, no bounty hunt to take game number one. Yeah, crazy game back and forth. It looked like for a bit that no bounty hunter was losing control of the map, but after that one...